Welcome to the Today Show Toronto. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan, and you're watching Bell 5, Channel 658, Monday to Fridays at 11 p.m., where we showcase opportunities, abilities, and the Disability Channel. Today, we are very excited. Today is an all-green day. Yes, an all-green day. Today, we have on from Ontario Green Party, MPP from Guelph, the leader, Mike Schreiner. So again, the leader of the Ontario Green Party, MPP from Guelph, Mike Schreiner, along with St. Paul candidate, Ian Lipton. What a wonderful area he lives in, down at Artscape, down at Christie Bluers. So we're very excited to have both gentlemen on today. We thank them for taking the opportunity, taking the time out of their busy schedule to come on a disability channel. Myself and Mike have had a wonderful relationship over the last, I would say five, seven years. He's been very supportive of our platform from day one. Becky, the whole team there. So I want to thank the Green Party, wonderful party, wonderful people doing wonderful things for the community. Before we get to them, I just want to update a little bit our viewers. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for the feedback of the Today Show. This is our, I think it's our third week now. So we've been getting great feedback, great guests, great questions. So hopefully this will lead right across Canada um, in every province, in every household, get Bell. It's the number one, number one server in Canada. I do want to give a couple updates. Right now we are strong. We're going hard for our February 22nd fundraiser in Wisconsin at Wisconsin Dells, Focus on raising funds for our heroes, veterans, right? Military, the U.S. military. Uh, do check out our, our military show, Onward and Upward with Anna Marie Blevin. It's a great show, showcasing opportunities, employment, housing, how we can help veterans, how we can support veterans, not only in the USA, but here in Canada. So we're really big on supporting persons with disabilities and veterans in jobs and medias. Take our course, enroll in our programs, SAO. We want to thank the Ontario government. We have an 85% success rate for employment for persons with disabilities and veterans during COVID. Not bad, not bad at all. So I want to thank everybody for supporting. And today, Friday, we are at the Super Bowl with our sports show, Press Box, and our Cracker Jack team, Dave Stevens and Casey McKay. This is the fifth year in a row we're at the Super Bowl as media on front line, front line row, right in media row. I want to thank Roger Goodell. I want to thank the NFL for believing in us, giving us this opportunity. And Dave, you rock. You're the best. So watch all week as we're going to be showing clips from the Super Bowl, interviewing everybody like we've interviewed Evander Holyfield, the Gronk, Tom Brady. Oh, Tom, I know, I know. So stay tuned. And we're going to be back from the guys from the Green Party. I'm Jay Stoyan. You're watching the Today Show Toronto. Would you like to donate to our employment programs? Please follow the link below to donate through PayPal. All proceeds go to our programs. Hi, this is Rocky Blyer and you're watching the Disability Channel Showcasing Abilities. Hello everyone, bonjour, bonjour. As Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, I'm delighted to offer my best wishes for success to the many friends and staff of the Disability Channel for your October 12th fundraiser in support of employment programs for persons with disabilities and veterans. Removing barriers wherever they exist, creating accessible spaces and promoting greater equity are all central to this province's efforts to rebuild from the COVID-19 pandemic. So help us to ensure a more inclusive and resilient future, one that works for everybody. Please accept my thanks and encouragement. Keep up your inspiring and dedicated work. Thank you. Merci, Miigwech.
Welcome back to the show. We are really excited today as we're here to introduce from the Green Party, the Ontario Green Party. We have MPP uh, from Guelph, Mike Schreiner, the leader of the Ontario Green Party. And we have from St. Paul, candidate Ian Lipton. So guys, thank you so much for being on the show today. Very much appreciate it. Hey, Jay, it's always a pleasure to join you and really have loved the work you've been doing over the many years that uh, I've been on various shows that you've hosted. Well, thank you, Mike. Like I was saying before we took uh, our break, that you you and your platform have been so supportive. I remember, like when we when I met you, you know, you didn't know who I was, and you know, oh, I don't know. and then we just started a, a relationship. And throughout the years, you've been very supportive, and and I love what the Green Party does. So you know, I I, I love uh, I love all of our political parties, but you guys are so unique. You guys have you know you guys have your own uniqueness i'm all about the green so i love that so and ian thank you for for coming on too i really appreciate for coming on and and uh you live in a, a wonderful uh, vicinity so it's my pleasure jay i'm really i'm thankful to be here and, and i do i live in a, in a wonderful neighborhood so mike tell us give us an up give our viewers an update about what's going on with the green party and then we can just get into it we'll bring ian in and i'm sure there's different aspects right since you're the leader of the green party and and uh and ian is a candidate you guys have different roles and different responsibilities so i'll hand the mic over to you mike yeah you know i think a, a big part of our focus right now with the ontario greens is to make sure that the work i'm doing at queen's park is really designed to benefit people and you know getting through this covid this uh, has been a huge challenge. I know so many people are exhausted. Uh, a number of small businesses are really hanging on by, by you know, a thread. And so I've been really pushing the government to ramp up their support for small businesses. I've been calling on the government to um, double the rates for on voluntary disability support payments. We know people with disabilities have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic, need additional support. And finally, related to that is addressing the housing affordability crisis we're facing in, in our area. There's far too many people who are struggling to find an affordable place to call home. And we need to ensure that we have an adequate supply of affordable housing close to where people you know, can live, work, shop, and play, because we also have to be addressing the climate crisis. And we don't want to force people to have to commute hours, which is unaffordable reduces their quality of life and increases climate pollution at the same time. Those are really two good points because like you said with COVID, no, no community or club has been more decimated than the disability community, you know, because we're behind the eight ball right away because we have disadvantages, right? Take away uh, uh, the services, the communication, they're interacting. I have so many people on my platform, guys, that are 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 just they are they are beyond struggling. Like we had we had a show yesterday, and I had on um, I actually had on Unstoppable Tracy, and I had on a um, a gentleman from Halton, which I know you have a, a direct link to, sort of uh, a mic because you're out in that area. And they said the number one is loneliness. Yeah, loneliness is number one on the radar, and. I, you, I mean, I'm sure you guys do it too, right? But I reach out to so many people who are on our staff or who are associated with us who are in vulnerable positions. Like it's just, it, society is, yeah, it's really, it's tough right now, but it's really tough for our community, right? That, and uh, and I'm sorry, the second point that you're, you were mentioning, Mike, was, oh, the housing, the housing and affordability, again, I mean, I know that I deal with people on ODSB and they get basically $1,100 a month. That's what you get. You get $1,100 a month. Well, I mean, thank, thank you. Thank you. But so this is why we created the channel, because our success rate during COVID has been 85% job placement. 85%. And most of our people are part-timers, right? They can't do full-time because they're just not capable of working full-time. So I, I really like that you brought up the housing because that is a, that is a real... Um, that's a desperate issue. It is. We need to fix that. Um, yeah. So thank you. Ian, what would you like to add to that? Well, I, I can't agree more with what Mike said. Um, you know, I, I have my eye on the on the community level because that's my role as a as a candidate for MPP for Toronto St. Paul's. And while this is a great, you know, this is a very diverse uh, riding. So I live in the Witchwood Barnes neighborhood and and it ticks a lot of the boxes for for sustainability. Um, especially for people with 
mobility issues and other um, other you know people with other disabilities. At the same time, you know there are parts of the riding where it's uh, it's shocking uh, what people have to deal with. And I'll give you an example. My wife is a physician, and she's been uh, going doing home visits to give people their COVID vaccines. And she told me about a woman she had uh, visited uh, a couple weeks ago in, in the riding. She lives in, she has mobility issues. She lives on the fourth floor of a walk up, a four floor, a four story building with no elevator. And she's, she's placed this, it's been incumbent upon her to place, um, to place chairs on each of the three floors below her floor. So that she, when she goes down, she can take a rest. My wife was, was uh, she was really shocked by that. And, I, and it's an example of, of the gap uh, that exists um, that we need to deal with. And, uh, you know, it's one of the reasons I'm, I'm running for office, which, which, which is to champion uh, all, all three levels and forms of sustainability, social sustainability being, being the one I'm referring to where people shouldn't have to, to, to live in conditions that don't support their well-being and their and being you know being able to productively contribute and live their lives to the fullest and there, this was an example of a woman that had those barriers and she couldn't get out of that building because that's all she could afford so how do we tackle that i mean there's so many ways but yeah you know, building code changes as one example you know to accommodate people with with uh with disabilities all new buildings should have that uh, uh, built into them, that, those requirements. So that, that, that's why I'm running and that's, I have my eye on the, on the community level here. Well, I, I think you guys have like a, a, like great talking points, great um, uh, departments, great sections like the green job. I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Uh, protecting the planet, obviously we're all big on that. We want to do that. I like the investing in people where it's health, education and family. And I think the family, um, I guess system is is kind of struggling a little bit. Like it's it's kind of struggling. There's a lot of people who are separated. They haven't seen their loved ones for you know two years. And so, what do you guys? What do you guys? What's your vision of that, Mike? Tell us a little bit about investing in people. Yeah, you know, I think one of the most important ways we can invest in people is to ensure that we learn the lessons of the COVID pandemic. You know, we had a lot of challenges in terms of affordability, accessibility, livability in our communities, um, issues around systemic barriers and systemic discrimination that people face. Uh, and COVID has really highlighted a lot of those issues, which we fundamentally have to address. And what we've been saying is, let's have a green and caring recovery, and let's increase public sector investment in the caring economy, improving healthcare, particularly at the community health level, addressing issues which you raised, uh, Jay, around loneliness and, and just the issues around um, the mental health and addictions crisis that's really been, you know, compounded because of the pandemic and just the social isolation that so many people feel, and you know, from our children, you know, not being in school to, you know, adults having to be physically distanced to, um, people feeling isolated in, in their homes, um, you know, making sure that uh, we make those investments um, in affordable housing so everyone has an affordable place to live. And as Ian said, changing the building code to mandate uh, universal accessible design so that we ensure that all housing is not only affordable, but is accessible for people. So it's investing in, when we say investing in people, that's what we're talking about, investing in improving the quality of life for people, dismantling systemic discrimination and barriers for people. And then finally, you talked about jobs. Um, you know what? We have a huge opportunity if we invest in a green and caring recovery. And the reason I say green is if you look at where the job growth is around the world right now, it is in clean tech and green jobs. And so we want to create new career opportunities better job opportunities for people by ensuring that Ontario is leading the way in the markets where you're seeing the most growth in jobs globally. So renewable energy and battery storage, um, digital technology, um, uh, electric mobility, whether it's electrified transit to electric vehicles, um, there's a whole host of ways, bioproducts and biomaterials. 
There's a whole host of ways in which we can create new careers and better jobs for people of all abilities if we invest in the emerging markets and the green economy. I think that is great, Mike. I love the way you're so passionate about investing in our communities. Like, I think that is, is you know, top notch. And what I'd like to do, actually, is like to, I like to, what I'm doing to all four parties now is I'm saying, like, we need to, the job market right now is changing. There's a lot of people who don't want the same job as they used to want. There's working from home now. It's really, it's just changed. It's just changed. And what we like about that is we've added the disability and veteran community to the yeah, job force, yeah. right? The disability channel, I can tell you, we have employed hundreds and hundreds of people through associates, the Toronto Star, uh, Kojiko, uh, down in the USA. I would love it if the Green Party would help us further advance our jobs when it comes to persons with disabilities and veterans. Like we have our house built, our house is built. Our house is built, um, the supply and demand is out of whack the demand is just over the moon and our supply is it's good but it needs to get better and i think the green party could really help especially with the veterans the veterans um there's over a million veterans in canada and there's over 22 million in the united states that are that are disabled right they are willing and ready to work i need that va I need, like, you guys could really help me. And I'll help you guys too, right? It's, it's all about helping the community, helping people. Um, so let's talk about that later. And then what I want to talk with, actually, you know what? Let's take a quick break. My producer just whispered in my ear, we got to take a quick break. So let's take a quick break. And I want to come back and talk a little bit more about COVID um, and a little bit about what you guys have in the future going on. Is that okay? Sounds good. That's great. So stay tuned. On the show today, we have MPP from Guelph and the Ontario Green Leader, Mike Schreiner, along with St. Paul candidate Ian Lipton from Artscape, Winchwood Barnes, my area. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back with the Today Show. You're watching Toronto Today Show. I'm Jay Stoyan. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Dave Stevens with the Disability Channel. Second floor, losing my seven year war. It's not an illusion, so why the exclusion? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, it's about you. So. Yeah. You say you're a disability dynamo. Joining me and uh, welcome to this beautiful you know Travelers Championship. I only want one accolade from you. So my story is unique, it's amazing, but it's not anything that you guys don't have inside of you. I'm not a hero, I'm not anybody special, I'm just this guy without legs that went out and I just did it. This is probably your first interview down on the ground on your butt and stuff like first that? First time ever, right. baby. Stay with us and the Disability Channel. Hi, I'm Eric Mondras. You're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform 
for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. Thank you for tuning in today. Again, we had a very two very special guests on today. We had the leader from the Ontario Green Party and MPP, Mike Schreiner, and we also had St. Paul candidate from the Green Party Ontario, Ian Lipton. They told us all about what's going on with the Green Party, how you can get involved, how they support the community and the disability channel. So I want to thank them very much for being on the show today. They had so much information, we had to have two parts. So I want to thank the guys again from the Green Party, if you want to get involved with the Disability Channel or volunteer, donate, start your own show, support us at the Super Bowl, you can go to www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. Again, you're watching the Today Show Toronto. I'm Jay Stoyan. We'll see you next time.